So, um, I'm here in, in Cape Verde, Africa, Cape Verde, and, um, I hate commenting on real stuff. I haven't done in a long time. This whole Kiki Palmer thing with her, with her husband or her boyfriend. The fact that a man can't choose how he wants his family to look. This is why we overseas. This is why we got to go all the way to Africa, overseas, to find what our true culture is, you know? Our culture has never been over-sexualized. You know what I'm saying? My grandma, my late grandma, classy woman, you know? Looked amazing, beautiful. My mom, beautiful, amazing, woman of God. The fact that he don't want his girl to have <laughs> booty cheeks out, and y'all y'all ladies are defending that, man. Y'all can have it. This where I'm at. This where I got my, my, my woman from, the motherland. Can't do it no more. Sorry, I didn't even want to speak on it, but because I'm in Africa and I can see our real culture, hey, bro, come over here and get a new one. Is he right? Or is he right? <laughs> I keep saying this, man. I keep saying this. This whole Kiki Palmer situation, man, is starting to show not just black men, but men in general, the nature of the American black woman. They've strayed so far, I do not know if they can be reeled back in. I do not know. The only way for them to get back to their right mind is if the men stop dealing with them. You want to be a wife. You want someone to wife you. You have to act like a wife. You have to be a wife before someone officially comes and wives you. If a man meets a woman and he doesn't see any single any single thing that looks wife material, he's just going to put you on, on the side. He's still going to have fun with you. He'll just push you for recreational use only. There are people that are just there for recreational use only. And they wonder why they can't be wives. is because the way you carry yourself has automatically put you in for recreational purposes. It's just how it is. Kiki Palmer is someone, she's literally someone's wife. Because the, on the internet, the black women, the American black women are all ganging up and saying, oh, the guy is wrong for saying what she was wearing was inappropriate. What? They were like, well, he's, she's not his wife yet. What? According to the Bible, according to every religion in the world, that's his wife. She's had kids with him or a baby or whatever. That's that's his woman right there. Are you see, that's his family. He doesn't need to have no documentation and all of this nonsense, modern day shite, to show him and that woman has, have made like a serious commitment. What commitment? What more serious com commitment could you make with someone greater than having a child with them? Are you, are you crazy? That's why people wonder why these men don't want to take all these single mothers seriously. You've given someone the greatest gift you could ever give someone. Your womb. You've given them a child. A life. So if someone is good enough for you to give them a child, why weren't they good enough for you to marry them, for you to be with them? See priorities? Again, put their priorities wrong? So you're placing being married to someone at a higher level than giving them your womb. Are you mad? So you leave someone. You, she, so she thinks if she, if this guy leaves her now, she's just going to be another statistic, another single mother out there. Well, if you're a single mother and your man died or something happened that made you something serious like that happened that made you a single mom. Or you leave it, you left an abusive relation, that's a different case. I'm talking about a lot of these women that just get pregnant just for the sake of it, for being careless. And they wonder why these men don't want to take them seriously because there is no benefits for a man, for a stepfather. It's a feckless job. Nobody wants to sign up for that. So she's got her man, she's got a baby with her man, but she's in an ushers concert with her cheeks out, her ass out. And the internet is forever. Your child is going to see this in the future. Are you crazy? And this black woman on the internet siding with her. Because here in the West, a man can't have an opinion. You cannot have an opinion as a man here. I keep saying this. Men in the West do not 
take that commit do not get married man don't do it <laughs> This black American woman, they see themselves as their own demographic. That's how they see themselves. <laughs> what? You've got a man, a baby with a man. You've got a man. But you're in a... You're over there with Usher. Usher is just doing his job. He's an R&B artist. That's what he does. But you as a, as, as a... As someone's woman, should know better. You're out there with your ass out. The only problem I have with the boyfriend... The father of the child is. Why did you make this public? Why are you talking about all this in public? Why are you posting this in public? That's your woman. You speak to her in private. Not everything has to be in public. Are you trying to gain some attention for yourself or something? You speak to her in public. Or maybe you've spoken to her in public. In private, sorry. She didn't listen. So he felt like he has to bring it to public to get some backup from people. But. As a man, if you have to resort into adding all the people into your relationship to speak to your wife to get her head right, you shouldn't be with her. What is going on, man? People living life backwards over here. I'm just, I'm tired of these people.